What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Blue Collar Biceps. This week I want to show you guys a full work week out in the field working for an HVAC company and what that looks like. So if you're interested in HVAC, you've been thinking about it, maybe you're on the fence, you don't know much about it but it's kind of interesting to you, then watch this video and get a first hand look at what it looks like working for an HVAC company doing this stuff on the daily. I do service and installations so you may see a little bit of both. Hope you guys like this kind of content and keep supporting the channel. Give me a subscribe, a thumbs up. I do have a lot of fitness content in the works and planned. I know this channel has been really blue collar HVAC related and I want to continue incorporating fitness into it and continue to kind of grow that side of my channel because I think I have a lot of value to offer as a natural lifter and a lot of years of experience that I could add value to people's lives. But anyways, I hope you enjoy this full work week of HVAC. Let's get right into it. All right, so here we are at a Bosch heat pump installation. As you can see, the ductwork was some older stuff that we had to adapt to. And we sealed it up with duct seal. We did uh, some tape. And the plenums did end up getting insulated with the bubble stuff. And yeah, we have a Unistrap drop bracket for this installation that works pretty good for these horizontal ones. Here I had the gas manifold out. I was converting this system, so I put in the new orifices and the springs. That's all it is to convert these Bosch systems. You just change out the natural gas orifices for the propane and you put in the springs, the high and low fire springs to the different tensions, like 12 turns and six turns. Here's just a look at the venting. Uh, we came up on an angle, so I had to put extra 90s. It came out okay in my opinion. It wasn't my you know, favorite venting job, but I think it looks pretty good all said and done. Another look there at the condensate pump. This was one of our uh, apprentices did this drop bracket actually, and it came out awesome. Gas piping ties in underneath the Unistrut, and also you can. we ended up putting a hanger there that's utilized, I think I have in the end clip maybe, to support the gas CSST. You see the gas line down there on the right, and venting and air intake come all the way over and sneak up and out right here with some 45s. Tried to avoid using 90s because you lose length uh, five foot instead of the 45, it's like only two and a half. One final look at the job. Little trap there. Those traps work really well. Okay, right on to another work day. Now we're doing a skimming on a steam boiler. So ran this thing up to temperature. It was actually very muddy. We had just installed this system and we, we ran a cleaner through it. So running that cleaner through it, it tends to loosen up all the stuff and return it back to the boiler. So the skimming removes all the oils and it removes all the nasty stuff from basically the factory threading oils, the oil from the boiler, you know, anything like that. And it removes it all. So it can prevent surging and banging of steam pipes and that kind of thing. As you can see between the different clips, the water is getting cleaner. Got the thumbs up there. And yeah, so once you get the skim going, you just want to keep it flowing and until you basically, we ran the skim for like an hour just to do it very good. You can see we got it nice and clean there. So moving right along, here we have a rooftop unit and I was able to record some audio. So let's get into this and I'm going to show you guys what's wrong with this rooftop unit. It's plugged solid. Is it? Yeah, there's a bunch of shit in there. It's not proven. We had a six flash. Wait a minute, hold on. Just pressure switch. Hold on. You have something? I do. Gotta unplug that. Get it to prove. Motor does not sound healthy though. Yeah guys, this pressure switch tapping was plugged completely solid. So it was not proving to fire. We got it unplugged. We're just gonna make sure the thermostat's still calling. And this thing should be up and running again. Uh -huh. 
all right so that's going to do it for this rooftop call as you can see we need to replace the inducer motor it's very loud and noisy and has some issues but we're going to come back to do that just picking up my tools here in my Vito pro pack tp4b love that bag and that's it all right real quick we have a clean burn waste oil furnace with a bad CAD cell eye and we ended up actually doing a full cleaning on this thing got in there these basically run compressed air and a thicker basically motor oil waste oil from garages and stuff like that and we got this thing up and running better